Hello everyone, I'm home. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you some more things that I found on the curb that day that my husband and I were driving around and they had torn that house down. I got this little table with a little drawer in it and I'm going to put a coat of stain on it. Um, I got these cute little 1950s, maybe early 60s Christmas cards. They're kind of made of paper, and they're folded over four times, and they had the prettiest little images in them. These had never been used. There were about 30 of them, maybe 25, and they had the old-fashioned font, and they came, there was a bunch of envelopes too and some old stickers but the envelopes are shot but I thought they were kind of cool I'm gonna send them out to my friends who like that kind of thing and then I got a big pile of postcards they were wrapped up with twine and they are all kinds of images they're uh, Cherokee North Carolina I want you guys to tell me if you recognize any of these places and if any of you live by these places or collect any of these cards let me know on Instagram. Send me a private message with your address. And if I still have them, because I'm going to send them out to people. I've got about 150 of them of different scenes. I will send you one. Because um, I don't need all of these. I collect postcards, but I like the ones with flowers and roses and things like that. And these are more traveling ones and um, wars. <laughs> and this is Camp Lee in Petersburg, Virginia. Uh, the barracks there so someone might be interested in some of these and i've got several copies of some of them now this one i'm going to keep and put on my um tree for the fourth of july and but if anyone's interested in these just let me know because i don't need them all i thought this one was cool these are the kind of places we stopped at when i was a little kid when i'd go on vacation with my grandma and grandpa we'd stop at these little roadside places and someone probably remembers these places from the old days and i looked up some of these places and some of them are still around um a couple of the hotels are and edgar Allan poe's museum is still around now this Patrician, I believe it's called, Hotel in Florida is still there, but they've added on to it. And the next hotel, I don't think it's there. I couldn't find anything about it, but they're really interesting and they're all in really good condition. Hardly any of them are used. A few of them have some writings on the back, but let me know if you're interested and I'll sure send you one if I have some left. This is Edgar Allan Poe's Shrine in Richmond, Virginia, and this is a Lido Beach Casino in Sarasota, Florida. And they're just cool. Wilcox Beach, Petersburg, Florida. Oh, that's Petersburg, Virginia. I put Florida. I'm sorry. And then, I, like I said, I have several. And there's one that I kind of liked. So, yeah, let me know. This is a street scene in Leesburg, Florida. And a tourist place in Marysville, Kansas. If you live in these areas, you might be able to tell me if they're still there. Then in that pile of stuff, I found an old postcard, or an old um, report card from 1945. And the poor little girl, she wasn't a very good student. She didn't have very good grades, but it was kind of cool that they kept that all those years. And in that dirty pile, this was so dirty, I didn't even know if it was real. I picked it up and washed it and it's a eight inch compote and that's my basket i can't remember if i showed you that in the last video then i know i told you i had this curtain topper and i covered one of the pillows on my couch with this curtain topper it's not the same fabric as the fabulous fabric i found the other day but i folded it over the pillow i sold it sewed it up on three two sides stuffed it and then sewed the end and I use Americana quilting thread because it's a little stronger. It's more like fishing line. It, it's really firm thread. And I had an old bed pillow that had seen better days, so I threw it in the washer and dryer. And I used it with my new fabulous uh, Lady Pepperell fabric that I showed you a couple weeks ago. And I had an old sheet that had some crocheted edging on it and I've used this sheet for oh, so many craft projects and I had enough to use this for the backing of this pillow so I put the sheet on the back and the beautiful fabric on the front and sewed it up and made a cover for that pillow and just had kind of a bigger pillow on the middle part of the couch and I really like it and I like it being all misshaped and 
different sized and it's really comfortable and then the other pillow that i made with the curtain topper isn't the same fabric this one but they go together well and i'll probably put some green pillows in between them or maybe some pink ones i haven't got that far yet but if there was ever a fabric that could describe the aesthetic of my home this would be it i found this at goodwill the other day it was a yard and a half of the most beautiful upholstery fabric in perfect condition they had cut it up to make something and it's a little rough around the edges but i put it on my kitchen table and i'm gonna hem it up and use it for a tablecloth for right now but it is just absolutely beautiful it's got all of the colors that i love and it's got that muted color to it and then in the same goodwill i found this little lampshade that had this wild fringy stuff all over it and I cut all of that down. I left it on there. I could have pulled it off. But I left it on and just cut it down about a half an inch long. And I had bought these two candlesticks at Goodwill a long time ago. And they're heavy candlesticks that someone has painted. And they did like a black and a navy blue. And I had to touch them up a little bit. But they're beautiful and heavy candlesticks. Candlestick lamps. So... One's on my counter and one's on my kitchen table. So I put that lampshade on the one on the kitchen table and I'll get that all hemmed up and it's going to be beautiful. It, I, I couldn't believe it. I, I think it was $2.99 and it was about a yard and a half of fabric and it's real good quality fabric. Now this is a weed in my yard that I just love. Guys, tell me what it is. I, I thought it was a four or three leaf clover, but it, this is the leaf and it's not. But I dug it up and I put it in a flower pot and put it on my table. I love it. It was just going to get weed eated. So I put it on the table and it's looking a little limp here, but it's going to it's going to brighten up and just be fine. I just think it's beautiful. And these are my ranaculus flowers. And then this is another chair I got off the curbside that day. It was a little black wicker chair. I figured it was all wobbly, but when I got it home, it wasn't. And then I got a big white one at a different house. And I came home and spray painted it taupe. And as I spray painted it was an old can I found in the garage our house is kind of a taupe colored brick as I painted it was taupe and then as I got down farther it turned into like a gold color or a tan and so I'm gonna have to buy a new can of taupe spray paint and do it better <laughs> okay I'm in the thrift store the other day and I see this and I had this album when I was young like 13 or 14 years old and I listened to it like crazy and I had to buy it it was like a dollar 49 I memorized every one of these songs back in the day yes I was a fan of low and I'm still friends I'm pen pals with my Barry Manilow fan club pen pal Donna in Texas so hello Donna I know she's watching and Mandy I think that song was supposed to be Marcy but he read it wrong or something I don't know but anyway if you'd like to read a, if you're a fan of Barry Manilow and you'd like to read his book it's from 18, 1987 and it's a really good book you can still get it on Amazon and thethriftedbooks.com and my little niece she loved her tea set that I gave her her mom said they have to do a tea party about every two hours and she's getting a lot of use out of it and she's taking care of them and then I showed you where I went to Burlington and TJ Maxx last week well I found a whole bunch of pictures I forgot that I didn't show you guys of some sparkly headbands and some sunglasses and all of this shampoo and conditioner that I just couldn't believe how beautiful all the bottles were when I had my beauty shop our bottles were just like black and gray and then they had these cute little springtime purses they were see-through and they had little makeup bags in them, and I thought they were awful cute. Everything in the store was just bright and springy, and I was getting ideas. And you know how I like my fall-colored rust color? I couldn't believe that. That was a really pretty purse. And then in, in red, which I have a lot of purses, and I love a brown leather purse. But I was just getting ideas on what's new this year, and they had a lot of bright spring citrusy color purses, and lime green it was fun they had all kinds of purses and i thought this one was so cute it reminded me of that candy we used to eat when we were kids it was like dots on paper and when you pulled it off you ate the paper because it's they stuck <laughs> but i guess they're called candy buttons i looked them up but i thought that was a really cute idea for a purse 
candy buttons. And then they had some bright colored candles, which were kind of odd shaped, but they were pretty. And the shoes. I don't like pointed toe shoes, but boy, these were pretty. They had flowers all over them. And then, of course, they always have pretty pillows. And I like these blingy pillows, but they don't match in my house anywhere, except in my beauty shop, I guess. And I really like this one. It had mirrors all over it. I like my bling. <laughs> and then, of course, I like to look at their pans. This was at TJ Maxx because I buy pans at the thrift stores and shine them up with SOS pads, and they look great. This was another one of the... I can't remember what they call them. Crushed ice cube things. And I'm not a coffee drinker, and neither's my husband, but they had some really nice flavored coffee there if you were a coffee drinker. M&M's and Twix. And of course, they had a lot of pretty Americana stuff. And they had these Swedish dish cloths. If you guys know what those are, please put it down in the comments. They just felt like a heavy felt to me. And I found the mug that my husband got me for Easter, and it was on clearance for $3. I don't know what he gave for it. And then I love wooden bowls, and they have some pretty nice imitation, you know, they're made in a factory. And then the highlight of my week was having lunch with my sons, and Matt's giving me a dirty look because I don't like to have their picture taken. And then my husband and I took a drive the other day. We had gone to the bank in one town, and we wanted to go wash the truck in another town. And in our communities, our towns are only like 5 or 10 miles apart, and you can cut through the country. And we like to cut through the country to go to Covington, Indiana, this way, and go across the bridge. And, oh, you can almost smell the mushrooms out there. There's a guy mushrooming right there. And we just enjoyed the drive so much. We had the windows open, and we drove over there, and the water's up really high on the Wabash. And we went to the car wash, washed the track, and as soon as we left, it started getting cloudy and dark, and before we got home, it burst out raining, but the truck was really clean, and it just rinsed it off some more, but we thought it was going to mess us up, because there's a lot of dirt on our road, and it was going to mess up the truck, but here we are, just cruising down the country road, and this little place has a unsolved murder mystery behind it and if you guys would be interested in hearing that story i could tell it to you so leave a comment if you're interested in that there's all kinds of neat history around our area and then there's this guy in on your way to covington and he collects tractors and he puts them in a big kind of half circle semi-circle shape in his yard and we're always going to count them but he moved them this time and they were shaped a little different they were heading out towards the road so we couldn't count them and then in our next video, we're going to revisit my very first video, which was the pink blingy purse ensemble that I'm showing you here. And we're going to talk about that video and how much I think I've changed since that video. And that's going to be our next one coming up real soon. And my son got this package delivered the other day, and I'm going to use this envelope for my Elvis miniature project. I want you guys to leave some comments of what you think I'm going to use this for. And then, of course, Mother's Day is coming up, so I think of my beautiful mother every day, of course, all day, and my grandmother, Elizabeth, and thinking about mom and how special she is, and unfortunately, I have to visit her at the cemetery. There's that plant in the ground, and I love it. So, please join me on Instagram. Thank you for being here. I'll be here in a few days with our 50th video, and I cannot wait. Thank you so much. I love you all, and I can't wait to see you.